The MetaMask airdrop is getting closer and they've just decided to launch a rewards campaign before the TGE. So in this video, we'll cover my thoughts and guide on MetaMask rewards. But before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. Now, straight into my thoughts on MetaMask rewards. To be honest with you, I am completely against it. I don't know why they launched a rewards campaign. I feel like they're milking us and I'm pretty sure you feel the same way too. They've been around for absolutely years. They've got millions of loyal users. Why would they launch this rewards campaign when they can already reward their most loyal users who've been using MetaMask since the very beginning or for a few years at least? Me, myself, guys, I've been using MetaMask for absolutely years, so I don't understand why they have launched this rewards campaign when they should be rewarding their loyal OG users like you and me. Now, I do understand that they want to incentivize new users to use MetaMask X, Y, and Z. However, my friends, we've already been using MetaMask for ages, and this, to me, just seems like another milking system. But... Hopefully, guys, it will be completely worth it. And hopefully, by milking MetaMask, we could very well land a nice, juicy airdrop. So they are worth billions and billions of dollars. They could very well launch an enormous airdrop. To be honest with you, it depends entirely on the allocation, whether or not OG users are going to get the biggest allocation with a massive multiplier, or whether or not it's just going to be based on the MetaMask rewards campaign. I don't exactly know how this is going to go down. But my friends, to be honest with you, I don't want to miss out either way. I'm an OG of MetaMask, so therefore I'm personally going to do this rewards campaign to see how much of an allocation I can get by being an OG and a MetaMask rewards user. So from the get go, guys, how do we qualify for the MetaMask airdrop when it comes? So we're going to separate this into two parts of the video. A is focusing on MetaMask rewards and B is focusing purely on that mask token airdrop. So step one. If you only have MetaMask on desktop, you're going to need to have a mobile version of which is MetaMask on mobile, obviously. Now, if you don't want to participate in the MetaMask rewards campaign, then you can skip this step one. However, if you want to get the biggest airdrop possible, guys, probably by doing MetaMask rewards and the next step is going to get us the biggest airdrop possible. So, as you can see, my friends, the MetaMask has popped up on the screen. For me, my MetaMask is different on mobile to the one it is on desktop. However, if, of course, you want to get the biggest allocation under one wallet, then, of course, you're going to have to utilize the same one. But in my case, guys, I'm going to be doing it under two different wallets, so it's entirely up to you. As you can see, once we are on the MetaMask app, from here, at the bottom right corner, you'll be able to see the MetaMask rewards. So once you head over here, guys, we can see Season 1 is live. And earn points for your activity, advance through levels to unlock rewards. And from the get-go, guys, we get 250 points initially. So once you get those, earn points on every trade. Every swap, every perps trade you make in MetaMask gets you closer to rewards. Get started and watch your points add up. Next, level up for bigger perks. Hit points milestones to get perks like 50% off perps fees, exclusive tokens, and a free MetaMask card. Cool. Next, as you can see, exclusive seasonal rewards. Each season brings new perks. Join in, compete, and claim what you can before the timer runs out. So, what I do know is, guys, it's just going to be similar to the linear rewards campaign for those who don't know, because, of course, they come from the same company, Consensus. Now, I do know that they are going to be doing around 30 million tokens, linear tokens, for those who are participating in the MetaMask rewards. However, as you can see, if you've also got a ref code as well, you can earn 250 more points. Me, personally, I don't have one, but if I have one, I will leave it in the description down below, so you can get a double up head start with 500 points instead of the initial 250. What I also wanted to show you while we still got the app up is that we've got the MetaMask Rewards X post here, which is going to explain everything we need to know. So trade, swap, bridge, and refer using MetaMask. Earn rewards with every action, unlock new levels and benefits over time. Season one will last for 90 days, so please bear that in mind, guys, starting with over 30 million in linear tokens for both OGs and newer users. More rewards will be unveiled throughout. So, guys, you can read more about it here. However, continuing, guys, what I do want to tell you is as well, guys, that MetaMask has ridiculous fees. Out of all the wallets, out of all the exchanges, MetaMask is the most expensive. So, please bear that in mind before you continue trading or doing whatever you're doing. So, step one, basically, once you're on your mobile, you just want to swap tokens back and forth. Get those transactions popping up, get those volumes stacking up. As you can see, I'm swapping tokens here. So I'm going to just choose a little bit of ETH on Arbitrum. Next, I'm just going to choose a token down below, obviously on the Arbitrum network, unless I want to do a cross-chain swap, I can do so. But let's just say I did USDC here, guys, I can choose a very minuscule amount if I wanted to. Could be 30 cents, whatever you want. As you can see, we swap. 
Down below, you can see the fee of which is 0.875% MetaMask fee, and that's excluding the gas fees and the rest. So guys, please bear in mind that the swapping rate is very, very expensive on MetaMask all in all. So as you can see, that is a swap. You just want to do that, guys. You can bridge back and forth by heading over to the swapping section, choosing a token up top. It could be ETH on Optimism, for example, and you could bridge to ETH on Ethereum or ETH on, for example, Arbitrum. Whatever you guys wanted, it could even be on base. It's entirely up to you. However, that's how you swap, how you bridge X, Y, and Z. From here, another big thing that they're obviously incentivizing users for is to trade perpetually. Now, me personally, guys, I'm not a perps trader. However, if you like to trade perpetually, there are many options of which you can do directly through MetaMask. But please bear in mind, guys, once again, that by doing so, you are going to be paying those ridiculous fees on MetaMask. And just to let you know that this is also partnered up with HyperLiquid, and therefore you'll be qualifying for both airdrops in one, HyperLiquid, and of course, MetaMask by using their API. So depending on what assets you want to trade, guys, it could be Pump, it could be Sol, it could be ETH, it could be Hype. Each one has a different leverage rate and each one has different open interest, X, Y, and Z. It's entirely up to you. So you see here that you need to add funds in order to trade. And in my personal opinion, I'm not much of a trader, so I'm going to personally avoid this. But if you know how to trade, by all means, guys, it's all here for you guys to trade and do exactly that. Nonetheless, we could very well stay here all day long on our phone trading back and forth doing exactly this and that, but you know what to do. You know you need to swap, you know you need to bridge, you know you need to trade perpetually and stack up those points over on MetaMask Season 1 in order to qualify for the airdrop. Now, what I personally think is, guys, I don't think it's going to stay on mobile forever because I think most of their users are actually on desktop. And therefore, eventually, once we get over here, guys, they are going to have their Season 1 rewards program on desktop too. But seeming as it's starting on mobile, that's why we started off with step one so you guys can get started there. However, guys, eventually, like I said, they'll have the desktop version and we can get ahead of the game by very simply swapping, bridging, and so forth on the MetaMask portfolio application, which you can see you can do exactly the same thing here. So whether or not you wanted to swap bridge or whatever it was, guys, you can very simply do so all on the left-hand side here. If, for example, I wanted to swap some tokens, it could be Ethereum, it could be whatever you want, choose your network of choice. Let's just say it was base. Let's just say here that we wanted to swap some of our base tokens into another token on the base network. It could be USDC, it could be Aave, it could be whatever token that you want, guys. Honestly, it's entirely up to you. We've got many, many different choices. It could be layer zero, which I already hold right now. So if I wanted to choose a minuscule amount, it could be, I don't know, $3, it could be 30 cents. It could be whatever you want, but of course, the more transactions that you are able to stack up, the more volume that you are able to build up, the bigger your airdrop will be and the more rewards that you will get from the MetaMask rewards. Now, to be honest with you guys, going back on my thoughts on this, I really don't think it's going to be huge in terms of the MetaMask rewards itself. I think season one will be probably in favor of all the whales that are able to trade perpetually and all of the whales who are just swapping back and forth. Now, for people like me and you maybe, it's probably not going to be as good. We might get a $50 airdrop, $20. And even then, guys, I don't even know if it will cover all the fees that we'll be spending. So please bear in mind, guys, that if you've just been a loyal OG MetaMask user and you haven't spent a single cent or maybe just a few dollars on the swapping over the years, that could be good enough for an airdrop, in my personal opinion. But for myself... I'm just going to stack up transactions. I'm just going to keep building volume every now and then. I'm not going to go crazy on MetaMask because I think they should just reward their loyal users who have been here since the very beginning before a token, before all of these little features started coming out and of course before season one of the MetaMask rewards. So guys, that is my personal opinion and of course explore this platform as much as you like. Like they said, the more you use MetaMask, the more you will be rewarded. But Please take that with a grain of salt, guys, because you just never know how this airdrop's going to go down. It's either going to go down as one of the biggest and best airdrops in history, or it could be a complete flop, just like Linear, which we don't want to see. So friends, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to boost up your allocation, probably a MetaMask card will probably come in favor. However, that's entirely up to you guys. We appreciate every single one of you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.